Eco Training presents Birds of the Bush for twitchers and amateur birders. Each episode will teach you about a different bird found in the African bush. Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Birds of the Bush. It is World Migratory Bird Day and we are also going to be focusing on water and wetlands and the importance that these uh, habitats play for all these different birds that migrate these vast distances uh, between us and different continents. Well, I'm sure as you all know, water is an incredibly vital component of our lives and the world around us, and especially so for these birds that migrate these massive distances. Just imagine you're a bird coming down from uh, somewhere in Northern Europe and you're flying down to Southern Africa. Obviously along the way, you're gonna need to probably find a place to feed and stop and drink and rest and uh, you know maybe even uh, produce some offspring, rear some, some lovely little chicks or something like that. And this is where our wetlands come into such an important part of these things you know due to the fact that they're almost the perfect habitat they've got water and where you've got water you've got life uh, you find them in a variety of different habitats some of them ringed by forests some of them ringed by open plains or mountains in the distance or something like that and because of these varying different habitats we find this provides a lot of place for different birds to eke out an existence so you might be wondering to yourself what is the reason that birds do these long trips why not just stay in one place and uh, have a good and easy life. Well, there's a good couple of reasons for this. One is the, the changing of the uh, seasons. You know, generally birds find most of their food over the summer months. You've usually got uh, good plant growth, which often equals a lot of insects and things like that. And this provides a lot of food for birds. Now, as winter comes along, for instance, in the Northern Hemisphere, those things become scarcer and scarcer. So a lot of birds sort of follow the seasons, so to speak. Always, uh, you could almost say living in the perpetual summer. Uh, if you will, staying in the summer months. So as the, the seasons change and uh, in the Northern Hemisphere it goes from winter to summer or summer to winter, vice versa. So they move up and down between the Southern and Northern Hemispheres following this food source. Also by following the food source, it usually means that you're in good condition. Uh, you have enough energy to do things like breeding. By staying within the temperate zones, if you want to call it that, of the different seasons, birds always have enough uh, resources which means they can hopefully reproduce successfully. Not all migrants reproduce when they, when they come down south and visit us. Some are non-breeding migrants as they are known and they just come in there uh, visiting us in the southern hemisphere for the food and things like that and they prefer to breed in different regions of the world, not necessarily down south here, but a large majority of our migrants come down south and visit us over the summer to be able to breed and hopefully successfully raise their offspring. So folks, if you've enjoyed this episode, Please like and subscribe and check out Eco Training's channel for more great content.